Welcome to this quick video to introduce you to the StyleCAD version 12 user interface. In this video, I'm going to introduce you uh, to how to navigate StyleCAD, open patterns and some key toolbars within the program. So let's open up the pattern first. The best way I find to do this is by navigating to your file explorer, locate your pattern, click and drag your pattern over into the pattern making space. And this will automatically open the pattern for you in StyleCAD. Alternatively, you can go up to your left hand side to the open style button here, which you can click and therefore locate your file and select open. But I find the easiest way, as I said before, is just dragging the pattern from your file explorer straight into the program. Okay, great. Now that we've got a pattern in the program, let's have a look at how to navigate around our pattern making space. Now, I recommend when using StyleCAD to have a mouse that has a wheel on it, uh, so a, a proper mouse rather than a touchpad. So in order to zoom in, all I need to do is scroll my wheel in and out on the mouse. And you'll notice that wherever my mouse is on the screen, when I zoom in, it will zoom into where my mouse is, and when I zoom out, it'll do the exact same. So if I wanted to zoom in on this front dress over here, you can see that I've moved my mouse to this location and I'm gonna scroll in. And it'll scroll into that area for me. Alternatively, I can come up and I can select the magnifying glass. Uh, I can select this tool or I can drop down the menu, uh, select a percentage and click on the area that I wanna zoom in or you can just use the mouse. So we now know how to zoom in and out, but how do we actually pan across our pattern making section? There are two ways to do this. You can press down on your scroller wheel on the mouse, and this enables you to pan around the pattern making uh, interface. So I could zoom in, I could hold down my wheel, and I could pan across to have a look at all the different patterns that I've got inside my user interface. The other way to pan in the pattern making software is by holding in the space bar and clicking and dragging. So I'm holding in my space bar and I'm left button clicking to pan around the space. So those are your basic navigation uh, tools to locate yourself and move around when pattern making within this program. The next tool I'm gonna to introduce you to is the measuring tape tool, which is on your top toolbar. It looks like this, we've got two measuring tapes. I'm gonna use a yardstick uh, or ruler tool as we like to call it in here. Uh, this enables us to measure directly in the pattern making software. So I've activated the button by clicking on it and then I can simply click and hold on and I'm gonna drag down this measuring tape to the bottom of my pattern and I can see that it's 78 centimeters. I can also click and drag and see that the waist here is 17 centimeters. So this is a really great tool to use to measure patterns and make quick alterations. The other tool measuring tape, uh, which is the perimeter measuring tape tool, if I select on this tool, this enables me to select lines uh, so you can see if I wanted to measure from this point to the bottom of the dress, I've uh, selected over my line and it's turned red. And then all I need to do is simply click once. And this will give us the length. So as you can see, it's 38 centimeters. And this is particularly good if you wanna measure multiple areas. For example, if we wanted to measure the neckline, the shoulder, um, and also the arm, I could highlight and hold shift while I'm highlighting all these lines, click once, and I can see that this line goes for 42 centimeters. Uh, so this is a really great tool uh, for when you wanna measure uh, certain parts of a block, which is fantastic. Now, the next tool I'm gonna to introduce you to is the one that you will always automatically go back to if you press escape. And this is what we call our line segment tool. 
So if you've used Adobe Illustrator in the past, uh, the line segment tool and the point tool are very similar to how they use these particular tools in Adobe. So you'll see here on my left hand side that I've got a variety of toolbars. I've got a point toolbar, I've got a line segment toolbar, and I'm just clicking on these tools at the moment and this drags out the toolbar. I've got a dart toolbar, pivot and sharing toolbar, a seam allowance toolbar, uh, a graphics toolbar, cut and join toolbar. And these are, the, these are the tools that you predominantly use within the pattern making space. Uh, the default tool that you'll always go back to is the line segment tool. So whenever you want to select areas uh, within the pattern making software, always try and go back to your line segment tool. And the shortcut for locating the line segment tool is by simply pressing escape. So every time you press escape or spacebar, you'll always go back to the line segment tool. Perfect. I'm now going to exit out of these toolbars as I'm going to introduce you to these toolbars in the next video. The last navigation I'd like to show you in this video is how to move patterns around. So as you can see, when I'm panning and when I'm zooming in and out, my patterns stay in the same position. But what happens if I want to move my patterns around this space? All I need to do is holding control, click, left button click, and drag my patterns around. So control and click. And this enables me to move my patterns around the pattern making space, which you'll need to do when we're walking patterns. Um, and it's good to organize your space within the pattern making software, especially when you've got uh, a, work, a workspace with lots of different patterns. Each of these patterns, as you can see, has pattern information on it. So we have dress center back, dress front and some sleeves. If I want to uh, move this pattern or enter information for this pattern, all I need to simply do is right click. Now remember, I'm still on my line segment tool. So all I need to do is right click and I can go pattern properties. This opens up the pattern properties toolbar, which enables us to rename our pattern. So maybe this time we'll just call it dress back. Uh, and we can also do lots of other settings in here. Uh, for example, whether we need pairs and um, we can provide a description of the pattern. We can put in cutting information. We can change whether it's a fusing or a contrast or a lining piece. Um, uh, there's lots of settings in here, which we will continue to have a look as the video series goes on. When I right click on the pattern using my line segment tool, I also have a variety of different move options such as rotate slash flip. Um, I can play around with seam lances. I can have a pattern on a fold. Uh, and I can play with lots of different settings within this area. I can delete the pattern, I can copy slash clone the pattern. Uh, so whenever you want to do something to a pattern, it's always good to kind of right click um, because you might find the tool in this particular area. Uh, similar for a line. So if you just wanted to uh, change a line property, all you need to do is select over the line and right click. And this time, instead of saying pattern properties, it will simply just say properties. So if I click on properties here, you can see that I can change this line to a mirrored line so that my whole pattern piece is going to be on the fold. Uh, and I can also change some other, you know, puffing, shrink, um, and other particular settings about this line. If I press close, you can see that now it's a dotted line and this indicates that uh, the pattern is on the fold, which is something uh, we could right click and uh, where we've got the fold here on my settings, I could actually unfold this pattern now. And now I've got the whole pattern which has been unfolded. Uh, perhaps if I wanted to make an asymmetric design, I could do. I hope this video has been helpful in helping you to get started in navigating StyleCAD version 12. In the next video, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the toolbars on the left.